I could still remember when I wake up and there are so much clutter and colorful things in my room, it just sucks the energy out of me to the point that I just want to come back to sleep. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are in this world, we're here for another Coffee with C. And if you want to know how I started my pursuit to minimalism, keep on watching. There are a lot of resources online and scientific research about the effects and the benefits of minimalism. There are no enough research about how to start it. not a lot of research or resources that guide you and tell you how to do it, where to start off. So here I am. I hope this video would help you in pursuit of minimalism. Minimalism is a pursuit of clarity, purpose, and focus it encourages us to live an intentional life where we keep what we most value and remove all the things that distract us from them i wanted to start this lifestyle for the very longest time and the problem is i don't know where to begin so i've done research i've put the pieces the puzzle together and then now i've finally started my lifestyle of minimalism this 2019 and now i would like to share them with you number one you need to have a purpose. Why are you doing it? You cannot just say, I want to start a minimalism life because it's trendy. No, because it is a process, both mental and physical. My purpose is clarity and focus. I am raised in a culture, in a household that the thinking is good life is possessing as much as you can. Or good life is accumulating things. It's not me. And then I tend to notice this to myself. Every time I go to a hotel, it makes me happy. It makes me relax. And there is just something in the hotel room that I want to keep coming back. And that's where it all triggered. There's got to be a psychological explanation why hotels are the same. They are uncluttered. They are clean and minimalist. So that's where I said to myself, you know what? I better do this. I told myself, why can't I achieve this in my own home? The first step is this. Get rid of the things that you do not need or you are not using. I, I know most of you guys have heard about Mary Kondo. She's great. Her philosophy is get rid of the things that do not make you happy and keep the things that only make you happy and you know what all of my clothes all of my things all of my stuff make me happy that's why i buy them if i started that way i think my minimalism journey wouldn't be as effective as how it should be so i go the extreme and it was tough but the results the benefits are worth it I started off having two boxes in front of me and I go through all my things one by one and on the left side it's the thing that I'm going to donate and the second box is the thing that I am still going to use and people would say get rid of it you know what you don't have to get rid of them you can donate them because these can be valuable things to people who cannot afford them or who cannot have them I donated my clothes my stuff my books I ended up donating the biggest truck from U-Haul and donated them and it felt so good that my space is so beautiful my space is so huge i just retained the books that i would still want to read and here are they as you can see a lot of people there's still a lot but trust me i have so much books you can't even imagine and books make me happy i have a new motto in life a space is energy is space is energy there are scientific studies about this clutter creates a clutter mind according to several scientific research if you're in a room where there are a bunch of colorful things and there are a bunch of clutter it subconsciously increases your stress level your mind doesn't know where to focus because of the clutter and different colors around you so subconsciously even if you are not thinking about it it does subconsciously affect you and then you will just wonder why am i tired 
for professional interior designs. And most of the time, you tell them what you want to achieve. But if you tell the professional interior designer, I want to achieve a room that is relaxing, the colors that they always recommend is stick with two neutral colors. And that's it. And then probably accents here and there, but the, still it's the minimalism. It all goes back to psychology and, and how our brain process things. Number one, get rid of the things that you are no longer going to use or you do not frequently use. But that's not enough because if you only do the first part, over time, you will accumulate more things and to the point that you will realize I am living in the same place that I have been living five years ago. The second step is as important as the first one. The second step is that I do not buy things that I really do not need. And even if you think you need them, you need to think twice. Maybe there is something similar that you already have at home that you just do not realize because of your impulsive buying. This is a way of life. It's a discipline. That's why if you want to pursue this way of living, it has to be purposeful. So last but not the least, what is the result? I feel more happy. I feel more energized. I feel more relaxed. It helps me to identify the things that I want to do. And as you can see, I've started my YouTube channel. I wouldn't be able to do so if I have so much clutter in my mind. It's part of my new lifestyle because I am not bored. I am not. I have a lot of things that I am pursuing. YouTube is one of them. And now I get to focus on what truly matters and the things that I value the most. I'm also encouraging my family to pursue minimalism because I think even if they are not used to it, they owe it to themselves. And I'm helping them one step at a time to pursue this lifestyle. I've gone over three things. The purpose of me doing what I'm doing, the steps on how to start, and the third, the final piece is how to move forward in order to maintain the minimalism lifestyle. If you would like me to create a video more about minimalism, how I have done it, and how I'm still going through it, or my journey, let me know and comment down below. Thank you for watching.